come all of you, those who have come later, we started earlier in the morning, and God has been with us, and God is with us. We have an afternoon session. We will not stop. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I will not stop. And I will not be stopped. Be stopped. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to talk about the glorified church. The glorified church. That is the topic. The glorified church. And I want to bring to your attention that we are not a weak one. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not part of those who should be pitied because our Christ is resurrected. Amen. And if he was not resurrected, then we would be, of all the people, the most pitied. The book of Luke chapter 9. My mind is slow thinking about a church that can reflect God without lowering the standard. Hallelujah. A church that can represent God. Without knowing what? The standard. That is what my mind is being disturbed by. And that is what I am going to stand on. The glorified church. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils. How many devils is the church supposed to cast out? How many devils is the church supposed to cast out? All of them. Diseases and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, Take nothing for your journey, neither stems nor script, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats a piece. And whosoever the house you enter into, there abide and be part, and then depart, and then depart. And whosoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and they went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a powerful, powerful spirit. You see, in the morning we were talking about standing up and standing out. Hallelujah. And I told you what is disturbing me is when I try to imagine what was in the mind of God when the church was born and the church was born with a lot of power God did not start working with the people who are already anointed God started working with the normal people who had no name no identity hopeless no destination they even did not have eternal life and that is a clear demonstration to us 
that we are capable of becoming whatever God wishes the church to become. You, 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 you are capable of becoming. Say, I am capable, I am capable. of becoming what God purposed me to become. What God purposed me to become. What God purposed me to become. I am capable. I am capable. There's a small voice that tells somebody, you're not the one. You're not the one. Because I'm very happy to become. You're not the one. It is that one who looks like the one. A voice speaking. I'm just here where we are. You see, I'm about to come again. You will be in the same way again. But I came to tell you, the caliber of men that God started with so that they were entrusted by the church they had no name they had no edu uh, education actually so they asked for that team describes it very well that they were common men common men like Pastor Ken no name no identity no eternal life no God for us and some of them even no genealogy can bring them any respect or honor. The same people became the most mighty people who manifested the power of the kingdom. Use of God. The same people got baptized down in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We disqualify any mindset that tells us it is not us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We disqualify any concept that rises to speak against what God wants to do. Amen. Are you getting me? You don't need to shake 
and still some temperature and some cold thing coming to for that to be the truth. It is already true. It is your faith that is letting it down. I'm saying that because God is going to cause you to bad things in your life. Amen. It's going to cause you to bad success, wealth, stability, and the gifts and ministries that are going to shape the work of the enemy. The church is already glorified by Jesus. Therefore, we are not to add anything to make the church glorified. Praise the Lord. Why we are missing it and we are not operating in the power of the Spirit? Number one is when we think there is something we will add to what God has glorified to make it more glorified. And any time that one is attempted, we end up in error. We come out of his will. We want to become the gospel instead of preaching the gospel. So Jesus left a glorified church. I want to give you tips that are going to make you a powerful man and a powerful woman. Even if you have no title as a prophet, you will become a challenger of devils. Hallelujah. So if you're writing these things, I want you to write. And God is going to, to use what you get today to make you such a person who is elevated and glorified spiritual. Hallelujah. The glorified church. I want you to write and say, God glorifies those that are. That is the first thing. God, it is God who glorifies those that he calls. So, you cannot qualify yourself. And that is why in Bible school, as good as it is, it is not enough to make you look like that glorified church. And, and Bible school cannot call you into the ministry. But I agree that process can sharpen you a bit and become more effective in the ministry. Are we together? The church is glorified in the first place. The church is already glorified. There is nothing remaining that Jesus is supposed to come and do on top of what he did. And Jesus it was illegal for him to leave the earth if the church was not in a position to handle the matters that we are supposed to handle here. Hallelujah. So, let us agree one thing. There is nothing that we can add to what Jesus has done. We can only submit to his will and the manifest the already established glory that the church has. Now, if we become believers who are operating a kingdom that we don't understand, we will on the truths that are found in the Bible and that is the base on which we stand. So if you ask me on which basis, Pastor Ken, are you drawing this confidence from the scriptures? From what the Bible is advising me? It says that Spoilers, principalities, and powers, he made a show of them openly. How did Jesus surprise the devil secretly? No. How did he ashamed the devil secretly? No. Openly. Triumphing over them. He did. That is on the cross. Now, when we talk about the glorified church, we are thinking about a people that have been redeemed by God. People who are resistant to the works of the devil. People who can rise in a calling and in a gift of God and 
until they manifest the glory of God. Not because they are in a church service set up, but anywhere and anytime, as long as they be connected to God. Jesus did not leave the church to operate in an earthly fashion, or maybe in an earthly standard. Yes, we are Hallelujah. Tukisema hiyo tunamaanisha nini? Tunamaanisha ya kwamba sisi ndio kanisa na sisi ndio watu wale ambao Mungu ameshafanya ushindi kwa ajili yetu. Ili tukishi na kutenda mambo sio kama kulingana na mitindo ya kidunia lakini kulingana na uwezo wa Mungu. Hallelujah. In Luke disciples. He called the disciples before he released them. Uh, chapter 9, sorry. Luke chapter 9. He called the 12 disciples together and gave them power. Oh, no, no, listen to me. There is something that the church has. By the way, the church is a kingdom. The church is a kingdom of God. There is no kingdom without power. There is no kingdom that will be respected, that will be honored, that people will obey and follow if it has no power and it has no authority. It will be. Hakuna ufalme watu watafuata. Kama ule ufalme audirishi ya kwa mbuko na nguvu ya kufanya nini? Ya kurinda watu wake. Gufu ya kuinua maisha ya watu wake. Gufu ya kukompoa watu wake. Gufu ya kuwakikisha wale watu wako na amani. Na mamlaka authority ya kwamba wameruhusiwa kufanya hiyo. Kwa hiyo tumepewa nguvu na tukapewa ruhusa ya kutumia zile gufu. wakati unafanya kitu kinyume na na nguvu ulizopewa ukipatikana na mkubwa anakuuliza who gave you this power not because you are not able to do it but you are, you are not permitted to do it beyond there who gave you this authority mko na anaweza tumia mtu kidogo kwa kiangalia some videos kwa youtube pia how guns are operated. Come on, Bizuri, go and see music. I'm going to be doing that. Praise the Lord. So, go and see some different guns, how to conquer a gun. Some of the first thing you have done refuses to work. Not because I want to be a policeman. I'm going to be a policeman. Hallelujah. As I depart from the Mahari, I'm going to be a policeman. 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 Kwa sababu ya kuondokea ufalme ambao umeanda ile nguvu 
alinyanganywa authority ya kutumia kile chombo haleluya kanisa la bwana limefalishwa utukufu lime limetukuzwa na sisi na wewe na mimi ndio nile kanisa la bwana na kuna kitu moja Mungu amefanya aliyahakikisha ili ufalme uweze kuheshimika na kukubalika kitu hiki ule ufalme uwe na nguvu kwa hivyo hatujafuata ufalme ambao umepungukiwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ufalme wetu haujapungukiwa ninaweza nikakaa kawaida nikawa mkenya wa kawaida kafalia zile nguo watu wamezoea lakini jambo moja la kweli ni kwamba kunayo mamlaka niliyopewa na kuna ruhusa fulani nimeruhusiwa na ule ufalme wangu haleluya sasa wakati muamini anakosa kuelewa ya kwamba ako ndani ya ufalme uliotukuzwa kuna pia atakosa kukaa na kuna vitu atashindwa kufanya akisikia kufinyiliwa atafinyika akisikia kuvunjika moyo atavunjika sababu amesahau ya kwamba sisi ni kanisa ambalo limetukuzwa na Mungu na ni mapenzi ya Mungu katika ufalme utukufu wake uonekane hata katika maisha yako Ndiyo maana Yesu akawaita wale kumi na wawili akawaambia kuje. Mmefika wakati mwingine mweze kujielewa zaidi ya vile mnajionaga nyinyi ni akina nani. Kumbuka hawa watu sio sivyo sawa. Haleluya. Sio sivyo sawa. Sio sikarijeshi wakati huo. It's a group of people that have been trained We have the other kingdom and we have the kingdom of God. The other kingdom has its power and there are those people that it has given the authority. Now, for you to subscribe to the kingdom of God, you don't need to subscribe through the kingdom of the earth. You need to just submit yourself to God directly. And he said, I give you power. What is power? Ability to cause effect. I give you ability to cause effect. Where? In your own life? In the lives of other people? How? In the way. Cause effect. Where there is power to make sure it is going to be silenced and cause people to begin to prosper. When you call upon Truths <laughs> Yesu hangekubali kuacha kanisa lake bila nguvu na mamlaka. Na ndio maana sisi kama kanisa lake inafaa iingie kwa akili yetu. Kama uliweza kuingia shule ukajua kuendelea kuingia Kiingereza na huko Uingereza. Si ukubali hata ile neno likubadilisha ufanye kitu kingine kusaidia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yesu angekubali kuondokea kanisa akielewa ya kwamba halina uwezo. Na ndio maana anaambia hao watu nimewapatia nguvu na uwezo. Hakuna ambaye aliyakuka chini. Ama akasikia ama angesikabadilika. Sasa ilikuwa jukumu yao waamini ya kwamba tunapotembea na kuishi maisha ya kawaida. Sisi ndio wale waliopewa nguvu na nini? Sisi ndio wale wamepewa nguvu na nini? Na mamlaka Baada ya kunajua unaporuhusu yale mambo kuanza kujiumba ndani ya moyo wako 
Divya unaanza ku develop imani kulingana na yale maneno. Manake kile umetia ndani ya moyo wako ndicho mtenga. Haleluya. Na kama umeruhusu doubt, kama umeruhusu question marks, kama umeruhusu mambo mengine, hii pandala ya kukujenga yamekuwa kikwazo. Ni anapomua ule uzuri ile ngufu na mamlaka Mungu alionena. Kwa hivyo nataka kusema hivi watu wa Mungu. Kuna kitu moja tumepewa na Mungu. Tumepewa ngufu na mamlaka. Na hizi ngufu na mamlaka sio mawazo tu, lakini ni kitu cha ku practice na tuone Mungu akitenda kazi. Mungu moja akitasikia ya kitabu kidogo na kwa hivyo Wadani Jesu akiarelia petero igoro ya igane kaka kanina na igosi ya kwa goma itika mitire na igosi ya kwa goma itika mitire toto inya wode ore igoro ya gona wadani that was a promise that he told Peter, I will build a church. And one thing about that church is that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, among the things that are making us to live below the privileges of this kingdom is when we don't carry with us the understanding of this glorified church that we are the carriers of the authority and of the power that God would want to demonstrate in the earth. I want to tell you for sure, God will not use angels, but God will send angels to minister through his servants so that he can do what he wants to do. Hakuna maraiko watazaliwa hapa wafanya kini ume kuna 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 kata kufari. Diwana, ni jukumu lako uwanze kupokea imani na uwe na imani na kanisa la Kristo elewa ya kwamba wakati hii ilifanyika sasa wakati imani inaanza kuzaliwa ya the new testament basi hiyo ndio ile misingi ambayo sisi tumeweka juu yake haleluya kwa hivyo uko kwenye juu ya misingi ya uwezo na mamlaka na kuna kitu moja Yesu akubahatisha haleluya he became very specific He's saying, I give you power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. It means there is no devil permitted by the Bible, by Jesus, in any way to bring you down. Praise the Lord. It is not biblical for a devil to bring your gift down. For a devil to make you cold in your life. For a demonic force to make you feel inferior as if you don't belong to the family of God or as if you don't belong to this world where people can rise. Don't allow it. Hallelujah. Block the enemy. Block the enemy. And actually told them, if you enter places and people don't receive you, you can dust your feet there. And he said actually those people, their enemy will be so dangerous. It will be better more tolerable for, for countries like Sodom and Gomorrah than of that country that refused to, to receive you. So and he said, and when you go, preach the kingdom of God. And that is not what we preach today. Today we preach what we want, not the kingdom. Kitu ambacho kinefanya watu wa Mungu kanisa la Bwana, the believers, baka sasa hivi tuchukuliwe ni kama we mean less. We mean less in this. Ni kwa sababu we no longer preach the kingdom. 
Kuna kitu moja nikiomba kila mmoja wetu akifuate sana kiwe ndio itakuwa sababu yetu kuonekana tukiwa wakubwa. Wakati tutakapoonekana na Mungu sana. Amen. Yesu Kristo sana. Wakati utakapoonekana ukidirisha uwezo wa Mungu. Hiyo ni kitu ambacho kimekosekana sana watu wa Inawezekana ni watu wachache wanasikia hii injili lakini hao wachache kama watakubali kufanya kile kinapaswa kufanya. Watu watakuja kuelewa kabisa nini inamaanisha wakati tunaongea kuhusu kanisa na uwezo wa Mungu. We live below our privileges. Kuna mambo yametufuata muda mrefu ambayo expire date ilifika kitabu. Lakini pando iko na nguvu na useme mkubwa. Na hapo ndipo tunafaa kumlilia Mungu na tumwambie The church that you glorified God of whom I am I come to you. I want to stand as one that is glorified not as one that is pitied. Hallelujah. Hata kusimamini hiyo mimi nitaendelea kuiamini. Na mimi nitaendelea kuomba Mungu anifanye mmoja wa wale watai manifest. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. In the book of John chapter 1 verse 11. Biblia inasema, "He came to his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name." It was condition matters but also in many other things of the kingdom where you as a person you need to manifest the power of God his glory by even what God has blessed you with the way God has carried your life and your life. you are not supposed to be the kind that should be disappointed for nothing you can run to God and claim the power and ask God for the authority that makes people to become what you desire to become. Let us pray, son. Let's see our time is up and we have the light. 
But my message is this. How has the church been glorified? The church has been glorified by being given the power and authority to overcome all demons, all diseases, and all the wiles of the enemy. All the curses. All the things that the devil can do. God has glorified the church to be a solution. I don't want you to start looking at other people. Yes, it is good to wish them well. But I want you to have a very personal experience and start becoming that glorified church. Say, cultivate, cultivate. the atmosphere of faith. Okay. Thank you. Now we can preach. Cultivate the atmosphere of faith. That is number one. Cultivate the atmosphere of faith. Number two, practice the word of God as a habit. Every day. Every day make sure there is a practice you are doing. You are practicing the word. Practice the word. I'm going to mention five things. Practice the word of God every day. Make sure you are practicing something and something is forming in your heart. Number three, serve others to exercise your faith. You know, when you serve, you are now exercising what you received as faith. And that is where the glory of God usually gets manifested. Serve others. Number four, maintain a prayerful atmosphere. Maintain an atmosphere of prayers, you know. You are prayerful. You are always seeking God. An atmosphere of prayer is important. Number three, number five, seek intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Seek intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It is not limited to that. There is more than that. But I know those are some of the things that can help you to begin a journey of manifesting the glorified church. I want us to pray now so that we can pray on our side. Almighty God, you are the one who glorified the church so that you may live as people who are honored and respected. This one has come forth to us, my Father, reminding us that you are waiting for us to stand and manifest the glory. I ask you that, Lord, you challenge each and every one of us with this message. The Lord, you shall desire to rise and catch the momentum in the name of Jesus Christ. 